Good morning, Inklings. My name is Bianca and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to begin by showing respect to and acknowledging the Wajik Nyungar people, elders past and present, the traditional owners and custodians of the land I am filming this video on today. Okay, so I'm very, very excited today because I have been wanting to start this kind of series thing for a while where I read books that are people on booktube's favorites. I'm going to be calling this series Kindred Spirits. I've seen some other names for this kind of thing like Taste Test, but I like the whole Kindred Spirit vibe. I love Anne with an E and I love that term so much and like finding your kindred spirit. So finding out whether my book tastes align with other people's. My best friend, literally Leia, just started her booktube channel. I decided to start with her. I think I have already read most of her favorites that she's found as an adult because she's actually kind of reading my childhood favorites right now. So I thought I should read her childhood favorites. I asked her to send me a list of all of her childhood favorites. This is what she sent to me. She says, okay, these are my all time faves. Dizzy is my fave of faves, number one book of my life, but all these I've read multiple times and they've stuck with me to this day, all by Kathy Cassidy. And we have Dizzy, Scarlet, Indigo Blue, and Driftwood. I wish I had them in my bookshelf, but I don't. I should get them though. Hmm. These are all kind of middle grade books, probably. I don't know anything about them, but we'll see if I like Kathy Cassidy. Then she has some Meg Cabot books. Vanished, there's four books in the series. Then Airhead with three books. Every Boy's Got One, which I think is a standalone. And then Abandon with I'm not sure how many books in this series. Then she says, and all the Nancy Drew books, which I can't name, but I was obsessed with Nancy Drew. Then she says, I also read Sweet Valley Twins, but don't recommend now. I tried reading Sweet Valley University and I could not. I think I've also read one of those books at some stage. I can't really remember anything that it's about, but I don't think she wants me to read one of those books, so I don't know if I will. Then she says, also was obsessed with Dawson's Creek and read most of them. I actually have not heard about these books so that'll be interesting this is quite a tbr um, but i go through meg cabot books quite quickly and i think the kathy cassidy books will go quite quickly as well and then the nancy drew books also look pretty short from what i recall i'm not completely sure but I think this will be really fun and for the rest of this video I'm going to be vlogging myself reading these books so enjoy hey guys so I'm officially starting the reading part of the vlog today it's a few days since I filmed the intro and I think I'm gonna go in the order that she gave the books to me so I'm gonna start out with the Kathy Cassidy books and it's seven o'clock right now so i'm gonna see if i can read a couple of them maybe all of them i don't know i've been wanting to get to these books all week but i've been wrapping up my autism awareness vlog which should be up right now if my life has been going according to plan it should be up i'm gonna start with dizzy by kathy cassidy Hey guys so just checking in i started dizzy last night like i showed you and i'm enjoying it it's really interesting so far i love the setting and it's giving me major flashbacks to a music festival i went to a few years ago with some of my friends and if any of you guys are watching this we went to earth dance and you guys will understand the vibe these people in the book also remind me of some of the people who we saw there very colorful lots of interesting music face painting some festival food we had some of the best pizza ever when we were at that festival so yeah i'm quite enjoying this i do like dizzy the main character 
And I'm curious to see what the fallout is going to be because I'm pretty sure her mum did not ask her dad for permission and it's becoming a lot clearer and I'm hoping that Dizzy will realise this at some point and I think she might be being oblivious kind of on purpose because she wants to spend time with her mum. But yeah, I also quite like Finn and Mouse is growing on me. He was kind of irritating at the beginning, but he is growing on me. And Finn is quite nice as well. He might be my favourite character, I want to say. Uh, he kind of looks after all of the other kids. Nobody warned me about what just happened in this book. It's like nearly the end. Um... And I'm very upset with what just happened. Like, how could you not warn me about this? But I guess it's not a surprise with how these people don't really take care of their kids. So I'm not surprised that something like this happened. But I'm very upset. Poor little mouse and Finn. It's not okay. Okay, let me quickly finish this book and then come back. I just finished Dizzy and it was really cute. I like the ending. Um, and overall, I quite like the characters and the descriptions. It was a very cute middle grade and i can see why leia loves it so much so yeah i'm quite glad i read that it's been fun starting to read some of her favorite books because she's just been reading my favorite books all of the time and it's cool getting to know the things that she liked before we met i guess yeah it was a really really cute book i'm gonna give it five stars because it is actually quite good for a middle grade it reminded me a bit of passion flower by jean year it was a little bit unrealistic i think that dizzy didn't contact her father throughout this whole escapade and that she was gone for such a long time and not contacting her father because even at that age i would have contacted my parents my dad if that happened to me i guess so that's the only part of the story where i was kind of like mm. but overall it was quite a good book and I liked how everybody got a good ending. And yeah, on to the next. So next up is Scarlet, also by Kathy Cassidy. Hey guys, I just finished reading Scarlet and it was so cute. I think I like it more than Dizzy. I think I like Scarlet more, even though she was a bit of a brat at the beginning. But it's understandable why she was behaving that way. It's hard for kids uh, with divorced parents, but I loved all of the characters. I love that it was set in Ireland for most of the book. I love the kind of magical aspects. Um, I also love that Scarlet has owned bunnies, which is super cute. And I also love that there is a horse in it. Yeah, all around it was a really cute book. And I love reading middle grades, I guess, because of the happy endings. And this one had a very cute happy ending, which I did like a lot. Now, next up we have Indigo Blue. I just finished reading Indigo Blue and it was a really cute story, very sad. I love the characters again. I quite really like Kathy Cassidy's writing and the messages she has in her books to educate kids on, I guess, bad things that could happen in families. Like this one had domestic violence, Scarlet had divorce, and Dizzy was also a bit similar, but quite a unique scenario that one i would say but i did enjoy indigo blue the characters were very cute and again i really liked the ending i was very sad i started crying during this one though but yeah now i'm gonna get started on driftwood i just finished the last kathy cassidy book driftwood and this was another really cute story with very lovable characters and this time we had some kittens as well um i'm very glad this book had a happy ending all of the characters really crawled into my heart especially little paul and hannah so i'm quite happy that there was a good ending for them next up we're starting with the meg cabot books and i do love meg cabot 
I've read most of her books and I've been rereading a lot of them. But I don't know if I mentioned this, but it was really funny that the ones that are on Leia's list that were her favorites, I hadn't reread yet or gotten to in my Make Habit reading. So that was quite funny. And they're some of the only ones that I haven't gotten to yet. So I think first up, I'm going to read Airhead. I don't think I've read this series at all, ever. So quite excited to see how it goes and what I think of it. I just finished Airhead and I have like, I don't know, mixed feelings about the series, I guess. I read all three of the books. It took me a while to finish, not gonna lie. I think I started last weekend and I only finished today. I had a lot of assignments last week, so I didn't have a ton of time to read. And since I've finished my semester, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and watching TV shows just to unwind but I actually really did end up enjoying the ending to this series I just think a couple of the things in the book irritated me every now and then about the character the main character and her decision making I guess but in the end I did really enjoy it next up I don't even know what's next let me check Hey guys, so yeah, it's been like two months since I last updated this vlog, but I didn't just want to end it there. It's like the middle of June right now, July, I mean, wow, middle of July. Hopefully I can get this vlog done. I'm not even sure how long the footage is for this. I still need to look at it. I've been too stressed, but I have started reading Abandon, which is the next Meg Cabot series. I think I needed a bit of a break. I read Airhead and I didn't love it. It was like funny, um, but I had a few issues with it. It was slightly problematic. So that kind of put me off a little bit. And then I stopped vlogging for this vlog to go do the Believeathon and Asian Readathon, which I didn't finish either of them. So I do have vlog footage for that, but I don't know if that's going to go up. I have started Abandon and it's kind of like a girl who meets the king of the underworld i guess like hades except that's not his name his name is like john or something really random so she dies and then she meets him and i feel like more is gonna happen but then she comes back to life so she's not dead and then he keeps showing up in her real life i'm about nearly 100 pages in and i'm intrigued i have to say it's a bit of a slow start there's three books it's a trilogy i'm gonna aim to try finish the meg cabot books as quickly as possible because my uni starts next week and i also really want to read the nancy drew books so i'm back into this vlog i have energy for it again so i hope you have enjoyed whatever happened in the first part of this vlog because i honestly can't remember anymore and enjoy the second half as well and i'll catch you guys up when i finish either this book or this trilogy I keep not updating this vlog okay but anyways i finished the abandoned trilogy this week and i wasn't like completely in love with it i feel like it could have been better but i did like it i think i gave it four stars the middle book i liked the most so i think i gave that one five stars and then the last book i gave four stars so i really liked the idea of the story and some of the characters but I wasn't entirely sold on it, but I didn't hate it. So, you know, it was a good story. I'll give it that. I liked it and I liked the idea. So I guess that's why I liked it more because I really, really love Greek mythology. And now, finally, I can get onto the last series for this vlog so that I can get this video uploaded. I don't know if you guys watched my reading rush vlogs but i had a lot of fun with that and it's so much easier to daily vlog so much easier or like a short amount of time like doing a weekend vlog i reckon after this video when i make 
um, vlogs again. I'm going to do weekend vlogs. Anyway, so the next series I'm reading is the one, I think it's 1800 Where Are You? And it has five books. I'm like nearly 100 pages in. I'm on page 70 something. And I'm not liking it. I really want to DNF. Is that bad? I don't know. Well, there's a lot of like things that have not aged well in this book. So I think it was originally written in 2001. So that's like nearly 20 years ago. There's a lot of ableism, fat shaming, slut shaming. I might DNF. I think so. We'll see. I'll read to page 100 and see how it goes. And if this continues, I don't think I want to read the rest of the books. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to finish that book, maybe. But I finished it. And then I finished the four other books in that series as well. I didn't end up hating it as much as I hated the first half of the first book but i also didn't love the series um i didn't really like the main character that much she was a bit trying too hard very violent for like no apparent reason and her best friend wasn't a very good friend and there were also like some other parts of the series that i didn't like like i think in the second or third one they used lesbian as a as an insult, which why? But overall, it was just like a story about a girl who got struck by lightning, and then after that, if she saw a photo of a missing person, she was able to find them. Usually, after going to sleep at night, she'd dream about them, and then in the morning, she'd know where to find them. And I usually love Meg Cabot, so I'm a bit sad that. The Meg Cabot books I ended up reading, I didn't totally love. I think I liked Abandon, the Abandon trilogy, probably the most out of the three series that I read. I really liked the middle grade books that I read. So I think I might end up reading some more of Kathy Cassidy's books. I'm intrigued by her writing and to see what else she has up her sleeve. And when it comes to Meg Cabot, I personally do already like Meg Cabot. And some of my favorite series from her are the princess diaries and the mediator series and then i really liked avalon high so it was odd that i had not read those books until now and i thought it was so funny that leia and i had like really different make cabot favorites but we still have her books as some of our favorites but yeah wow i am shook that i finished this vlog finally i really need to go through all the footage i have see what i'm working with here but overall i really really enjoyed doing this and reading alaya's childhood favorite books because she's been reading a lot of my favorites and i really like hearing her opinions about it so i'm sorry i didn't love all of your favorites but i still did like reading them and yeah this was really fun and i think I might do more videos like this with some other booktubers. So stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Keep thinking, Inklings. Bye. Mm -hmm.